head. This is the Barber, this is the Barbie, spreading hate, racism, and division, and encouraging envy, jealousy, and spite. The Barber, this is the Barbie, whose only and singular mission is to mash up Barbados, because they believe if they mash up Barbados, they can build it back. So they have to mash up and build back mentality. BLB supporters, I don't know if you all go on social media. Man is spewing anger, rancor, invectives, contention, and vitriol in the worst possible way. And if you open your mouth and say anything to them, you get cursed steak. Abuse your steak, man. This is what I tell you. There's a new Barbados Labour Party supporter that is emerging. That I say this in Parliament and I'm going to say it again. Because I believe if the Barbados Labour Party does not control its supporters, that a sorry state will come to the next year elections in Barbados. I tell you that it is something that I pray it does not happen. And I want every prayer warrior, every person by the believing Christian to get on your knees and pray that it does not happen. But the way the Barbados Labour Party is angling their supporters and the kind of foolishness that they're talking to their supporters, they're pointing them in a direction that if we don't be careful in this country of Barbados that we love so much, next year election is going to be a sorry, sorry, sorry event. But we will do everything possible in this country as the Democratic Labour Party to avoid that kind of rubbish that there are accumulating. And the news like in Barbados, we as a government, we are aware of the economic situation. We have several projects that we want to get them going. Because the more people employed, the more people going on to uh, uh, construction sites and coming back into the villages and spending money and going to town and spending money, it creates economic activity. And that is why we want to get the projects that we're talking about, like San Lors and Hyatt, although Hyatt is not a government project. It is a private sector project, but it shows that the private sector has confidence in this government and are prepared to put their money behind their projects. But every single thing that we have attempted in this country, you find some stupid, foolish person putting something box in our way. But they want to portray an atmosphere of failure in this country on the part of this government. That is why every project that we have initiated, and every project that we want to get off the ground, you find somebody running into law courts. I don't know why the law courts don't hold them and lock them up. Because they are nuisances trying to stop everything in this country. It's a, a deliberate attempt, an effort to destroy Barbados and what Barbados um, uh, uh, represents. It's that we have to offer these options. These brand names are known to people around the world. So that when the visitors come here, although some people close, uh, they recognize that Barbados is indeed part of an international uh, brand uh, that they wish to celebrate. And that's why it troubles the event. You know, when we have these issues, and yet still there's some in a mix, if Mr. Ellis can make me to digress a bit, but there's some in a mix who, as we look to expand the economy, create more jobs, earn more foreign exchange, so that citizens can come here to the radio shop and shop free. There are those in a mix, including one or two lawyers, who are very happy to rush to the Bridgetown Court and try to stop significant investment from taking place in Barbados. I'll be very frank. If I had a little bit more time and energy, I would be down Crompton Street demonstrating outside that lawyer's office who's trying to block IAC and other investors from coming into Barbados. I am very disappointed that as we seek to expand and diversify the economy, there's some who are guaranteed a paycheck, who live in great comfort and are prepared to rush down to Quarry Street and block investment from coming into Barbados. And I'm saying that people like those really and truly, I really don't have the time for. It's a, it's a fact, it's quite frank. And that's why it's very great to see in the in the former's investment in Barbados and indeed here in Radio Shack. Now, in 2014, we spent about $264 million in 14 electronic goods in Barbados. 